for this project, any Category 3 yarn will work, but I used a full skein of Burnett Baby Sport yarn in the color Baby Taupe. As for tools, a 4mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. We're using 5 stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain Slip stitch Single crochet half double crochet and double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video so let's get started. Starting this dress off we're first going to get started on the cups. So we're going to start by grabbing our category 3 yarn grabbing our four millimeter hook and we're first going to start off by making a chain that goes from this is going to be a little bit different that goes from where your cleavage is and then we're going to work our way up towards where the peak of the cup is going to be but we're just going to go from where your cleavage is up halfway from where your boob is so i'm going to be making a chain of two and a half inches once when i have my chain of two and a half inches i'm going to block off that last chain you're going to chain up three, prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off or the fourth loop from the hook with a double crochet. And then once when we have that, you're going to prepare for a double crochet and put one double crochet into every loop going back down our chain. We now have our first row of double crochet done. And then for the next row, we're just gonna be doing the same thing. So we're going to chain up three, flip our work, and we're gonna be going back into every loop, just putting one double crochet. Now that we have our first two rows of double crochet, and then might I say, if you guys have bigger cups and you're gonna to wanna to do more rows of double crochet, but the rest of this is gonna be the same. This is where it's gonna get a little funky, so go ahead and follow me. But what we're gonna do is chain up three flip our work and then into this first little bit that we have we're going to be doing a decrease so we're gonna it, yeah we're gonna prepare for a double crochet insert into that first loop yarn over pull through into that next loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through three yarn over pull through two and then from here we're going to be putting one double crochet into every loop that we have until we get to this middle this middle until we get to this last loop that we have and then we're going to be doing an increase so it's going to be kind of like a funkier rectangle cup that we do for a lot of the patterns, but this is going to be shaped a little differently because I wanted something that wasn't quite a rectangle, but also wasn't quite a triangle. But I have talked my way all the way over to this last loop that we have. And then so now that we're here into this last loop, all we're going to do is put three double crochets into that loop. Here we are, we have three double crochet into this last corner loop that we have, and now we're gonna start working down our way this way where we have our side double crochets. So into each side double crochet, we are going to put two, but into the last one, this is going to be the pattern, we're actually gonna put three only because we're typically gonna be putting an increase into this corner. So here's the two that we usually do, one, two. For funsies, we're just gonna add one more so there's going to be three into that last one because that's going to be where our increase is and then so now that we're here let me show you guys how to do the rest we're going to chain up three flip our work prepare for a double crochet and into this first loop that we have we're going to be doing an increase so just put one double crochet into that same loop that we're in and then we're going to be putting one double crochet into every loop until we get to our increase of three and since we are so close i won't cut the video I'm just going to show you this is our increase of three that we put into that mm, I keep wanting to say middle loop I'm so sorry into that corner loop that we did in the previous row so into this first loop we're gonna put one double crochet and then into the second loop this corner loop this is going to be where the business is at so we're gonna be putting three double crochet into that corner loop just like that and then from here we're gonna be putting one double crochet into every loop, but we are going to leave the last three 
because we're going to be doing a decrease into the first two and then just regular double crochet into the last. So we are almost there. We're going to leave one, two, three. We have one more regular double crochet to do. Okay, so we now have one, two, three loops that we left. Our decrease row is always going to be our decrease row on one side, and then our increase row is always going to be the increase side. So from here, we're going to yarn over, pull through, insert our hook into that next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, pull through two, and then into this last one, just put a regular double crochet. And then we're going to continue on with this pattern until we get the cup size that we need. I'm going to show you guys the first cup that I made. This is going to look nuts, but this is what it's going to look like. This is going to be the bottom that's connected to the dress. And then the cup is going to be at an angle. We're going to have a cute little detail across this side, but this is what the cup is going to end up looking like, but it's all going to be the same pattern. So on whatever side you guys have your decreases, you guys are going to maintain the decrease on that side, double crochet all the way down. And then we're going to increase into this increase of three that we did in the previous row, another increase of three on top of that, and then double crochet down. And then we're going to increase on this side. And then we're going to keep doing that until we have the cup size that we need. I'll meet you guys back once we have both of these guys done. Okie dokie. So we are now finished up with our two cups and this is what we should have. They are a little funky looking, but I'm really liking how they turned out. But now, now that we have this, I should say now twice, now that we have this, we're just going to go across the bottom with a row of single crochet going across both cups and we're going to connect them with a chain. We don't want them to touch because we are going to have the slightest detail into this corner. So we're just going to go straight across. So we're going to insert our hook into this one corner, grab our yarn insert that onto our hook and then we're just going to go straight across and as you guys already know we're working with side double crochet so go ahead and just put two single crochet into every side double crochet and then i'll meet you guys back once we get to this inner corner to tell you guys how many chains i need to do in order to make our way to the other cup so this is where we're at so far we've single crocheted all the way across one cup and i'm going to do a chain that connects the first cup to the next cup and I don't need a very large chain because I have no chest. So I'm just going to be going in with one chain. If you guys have a bigger chest, obviously do more chains. But then we're going to insert our hook into this corner. If I can. And then we're going to yarn over, pull through. And then from here, go ahead and go across, putting two single crochet into each of these side double crochets. And then I will meet you guys back. We have single crocheted all the way across and now we're just going to start working on our bottom detail that we have. But the first row that we're going to do is going to be a row of double crochet, a little itty bitty fan in the middle, and then more double crochets. So what we will do is chain up three, that counts as a double crochet, flip our work, and then we're going to go in with double crochet going all the way down, leaving three loops until we get to this middle loop that we have right here. So yours may have more chains in the middle whatever you guys do just go ahead and stop three loops right before you get to that middle loop and then i will show you guys what to do we have double crocheted all the way down and we have three loops one two three right before we get to this middle loop that we have right here so all we're going to do is chain out one prepare for a double crochet go into that middle loop that we have or that chain that we have in the middle we're going to go in with three double crochet two three all into that middle loop once we have that we're just going to do one chain and then three more double crochet into that same loop so there's one two and three once we have that chain one prepare for a double crochet count out four one two three double crochet into that fourth and then go ahead and double crochet all the way down and then we're going to cut and tie because then we're going to start working on this middle detail that we have we have made our way all the way across we cut and tied and now we are ready to start working on this middle detail so what we're going to do is we're going to count out two loops from 
this nonsense that we have right here from this fan. So we're going to count out one, two, going to insert our hook into that third, insert our hook, pull our loop through, and we're going to chain up one to secure it, but we're also going to do that for the pattern. And from here, we're going to prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into that first double crochet loop that we have into this fan, just like that. And then from here, we're going to chain one, prepare for a double crochet into the next double crochet loop. Do this one more time, chain up one, prepare for a double crochet, one double crochet into that double crochet loop. And we do have this chain that we have in the middle, so all we're going to do to counter that is chain two, prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into that next loop with a double crochet, chain one. We're just going to continue to do this until we get to the end. And then from here, we're going to count up three loops. So here is, oh wait, chain one at the very end. And then we're going to count up one, two, three, insert your hook into that third with a slip stitch. And then this is what we should have so far, a little fan expansion. And then once we have that, we're actually going to do a couple rows of loops. So all that is going to be is chaining, I'm sorry, not chaining, slip stitching up two. So here's one slip stitch. Here's two, we're going to chain three, flip our work, and then into each of these gaps, we're gonna be putting a single crochet. So single crochet into the, this first gap, chain three, single crochet into the next gap, and we're going to do this all the way across. We have done our chains and single crochets all the way across, and we're just going to connect it into this next space. So we single crochet into this last loop, so we're going to chain out three, count out two loops, one, two, insert your hook into that next with a slip stitch, and then we're going to slip stitch up the next two. So here's one, here is two, flip our work, and we're going to be doing the same thing. One, two, three chains, and then single crochet into every loop that we have, and then I'll meet you back once we get all the way around. made our way all the way around with our second row of loops and we're going to connect it into this other side of the base that we have so chain up three count up one two loops slip stitch into that second loop and then we're going to do another row of what is this loops until we get to this middle loop that we have right here and i'll show you guys what to do now that we've done our loops over to this middle loop that we have what we're going to do from here is another shell so automatically we're going to put three double crochet into this middle loop here's two here's three chain one and put three more double crochet into that same loop so here's one two three now once we have that we're just going to single crochet into that next loop chain three single crochet and then keep doing this pattern all the way down So really quickly, this is what we should have so far. So this first fan is going to be into this first row of double crochet that we have. And then our next is going to be this fan expansion. We have two rows of net, and then our other row that we have is row of net with a fan or shell, whatever you guys want to call it. It's kind of a hybrid in between, but one of those guys in the middle and then netted all the way back down. And then once when we have that, we're going to slip stitch up the next two loops again flip our work and then into this first gap we're going to be putting five double crochet so here's one two three four and five once we have our five we're going to single crochet into that next loop and then we're going to do the same thing into this next uh loop that we have so two three four and five once we have that, single crochet into the next loop, and then we're going to be doing another fan expansion over this fan that we have right here. So we're going to chain one, prepare for a double crochet, insert your hook into that first double crochet loop, chain one, prepare for a double crochet, into that next double crochet loop, chain one, prepare for a double crochet, into that next double crochet loop, and then we do have this eensy weensy little middle gap right here, so what we're going to do from here is chain two, prepare for a double crochet, double crochet into that loop chain two and then prepare for a double crochet and then go back in 
to the next double crochet loop with a double crochet. And we're going to chain one, prepare for a double crochet, double crochet into the next, chain one, double crochet into that next, chain one, and then go into this next loop that we have right here with a single crochet. And then from here, we're going to do five double crochet, single crochet, five double crochet, connect it into the base with a slip stitch. And I'll meet you guys back once we get there. Ta-da! This is what we should have so far. And the next row that we're going to do, we're just going to be going in with a row of fan expansions over these guys and then do a little detail in the middle. So let's show you guys. We're going to slip stitch up the next two loops, flip our work, and then from here we're going to chain out one, prepare for a double crochet. Put one double crochet with a chain one into every single double crochet loop that we have until we get to that last one. So we just got a couple more rows to do, or a couple more rows, we have a couple more loops to do. Here, chain one, and this is our last one that we're going to go into. We're not going to go into this guy because this is the single crochet that goes in between the two fans. So what we're going to do from here is automatically prepare for a double crochet. Remember, there's no chain one in between. Go into that first loop that we have into that next fan. So we have that, chain one, prepare for a double crochet, go into the next loop chain one next loop and we're just going to keep the camera on because i will show you guys what to do once when we get to the point okay so now we are at the fan expansion that we had in the previous row and what we're going to do from here we're not going to do a chain one we're going to prepare for a double crochet insert our hook into that first loop that we have like that we're going to chain one prepare for a double crochet next loop chain one double crochet into the next loop chain one into this loop and then oh no i'm so sorry we're not going to go into that last one because this is where our chain two is and we're not going to put anything into the chain two because we want that to be separated because we're going to put a tiny little detail into this double crochet that we have in the middle my bad so we already have a chain one we're going to prepare for a double crochet we're going to insert our hook into that double crochet loop which bleh, which is our middle double crochet that we have right here we're going to be putting one, two double crochet, chain three, and then put two more double crochet into that same loop. So there's one, and then there is two. And then from here, we're going to chain one, prepare for a double crochet. Remember, skip this loop because this is where our chain two is. Go into the loop right after with a double crochet. Chain one, double crochet into this next loop. Yeah, chain one double crochet into the loop after that and then we're going to be going into every other loop with a double crochet chain one so we're not going to put a chain one in between these two guys just go in with a double crochet chain one double crochet and then keep doing this all the way down and go ahead and connect it to the base now that we've made it all the way down our next row is going to be a row of single crochet with little bulbs in between so we're going to slip stitch up one loop flip our work and then into every loop that we have we're going to be putting one single crochet until we get to that little set of two double crochet where we don't have a chain one in between that's where we are going to be putting our bulbs so we're going to put one single crochet into every loop two and then this is where our two double crochets are right next to each other we're gonna go into one of those double crochets with a single crochet we're gonna do a chain up of three and then right into this next loop we're gonna be putting a single crochet and then that's all this row is going to be so go ahead and keep doing this all the way down once when you guys reach this middle corner you're just gonna continue doing putting one single crochet into every loop and then we're going to meet back once when we have slip stitch into this other side once we made our way all the way across with our row of single crochet, now we're going to do a row of thicker net. So we're going to be slip stitching up the next two loops. Flip our work. We're going to chain out one. We're going to prepare for a double crochet. Count out three loops. One, two, three. Insert your hook into that third with two double crochet. Once we have that, we're going to chain one. Prepare for a double crochet. Count out another two loops. One, two. Insert your hook into that third and put two more double crochet into that guy. And then we're just gonna do this one more time to show you guys what to do once when we get to the bulbs. So we're gonna count out one, two, three. 
and then once when we are here we're going to chain out three single crochet into the bulb and then that is it so we're going to chain out another three prepare for a double crochet and then we're just going to take a look and see where we did our last two double crochet onto this side and then put it into the same loop on this side so we didn't put anything into this loop that's right next to the chain three into the loop after that so we're going to skip this loop and put two double crochet into the loop after that and then we're going to keep doing this all the way down and i'll show you guys what to do once when we get to this corner Now that we've made our way over to this corner, all we're going to do is put a chain one and then into this middle loop that we have, we're going to prepare for a double crochet and put three double crochet into that middle loop. So there's one, two, and three. And from here, we're going to ooh, chain one, prepare for a double crochet. And then on this side, we just skipped one loop. So we're just going to be skipping one loop on this side. So skip this loop, put two double crochet into that next loop. Then we're going to go back to doing the other pattern. So chain one, prepare for a double crochet, count out one, two, three, two double crochet into that third. And then continue doing that same pattern all the way down and then connect it to this side of the base. Now that we made our way all the way around with our last row, the last thing that we have to do is just do a row of single crochet because I am on my last loop. If you guys have more loops, then obviously go ahead and continue on with whatever design you guys want to add. Or you guys can end it here doesn't matter but what i'm gonna do is slip stitch up to my last loop and then i'm just going to be going all the way down just putting one single crochet super simple into every loop once we get to this middle part we're going to continue just putting one single crochet all the way across and then once we get to the end we're going to connect with a slip stitch and cut and then i will show you guys what we have now that we have done the entire bottom portion, we have cut and tied, and now we're just gonna do a little itty bitty guy up here at the top. So what we're gonna do is insert our hook into one of the cup corners. We're going to pull this through, and then what we're gonna do from here is chain up three. The first two count as a half double crochet. And we're gonna prepare for a half double crochet, and then since this first bit is going into side double crochets, there's going to be one very specific loop in between one row and the next row and you're going to be going into that loop i'm sure you guys can see it right there so since we're doing a half double crochet we're going to insert our hook into that loop that's in between those two rows pull through yarn over pull through everything and if it lets me this is our half double crochet let's do this one more time so we're just going to chain out one prepare for a half double crochet we're going to take a look see where that one little itty bitty loop is insert pull through pull through everything on the hook and then we're going to do this all the way down i'll show you guys how to do the part where <laughs> we get to this part where we just get to the regular loops that's going to be super simple but i'll show you guys how to do that once we get there we've done our row of half double crochet chain one all the way down until we are here where our regular loops are and then into this first bit, all we're gonna do is chain one, prepare for a half double crochet, and then there's gonna be this kind of loop that we have because remember in the first uh, row that we did, we did a chain up of three. So we're gonna insert our hook into where that first chain is and not into this first loop that we have. We could do it into the first loop, that's totally up to you if that's easier, but I just don't like to do that because I think that it makes this gap a little too spread out. It looks a little messy to me, but that's just me. I'm very particular about these types of things. <laughs> so we're going to continue doing this. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet. Skip one loop, half double crochet into the loop after that. And then we're just going to stay together for this section so I can show you guys what to do. So since we have nothing to talk about right now, let me know how you guys are liking this design so far. Or let me know if you guys want to see this in any different colors. So we have done our half double crochet chain ones all the way down. As you guys can see, I can't do any more because I only have one loop left. And if you guys want to stop maybe two loops ahead, three loops, whatever, this is completely up to you, but I'm just going to stop until I can't go anymore. And then I'm going to put this up to myself to see how far I need my cups to be separated from each other. And I'm just going to make a chain for that length, keeping in mind that we will have a half double crochet on the other side too. So you got to take like all of this into account. Well, once we have that, I'm going to make my chain. I have a small chest, so I'm only going to do two. 
prepare for a half double crochet and then do the same thing that we did on this side on this side so since i don't have anything into this first double crochet loop right here or yeah this is a double crochet i don't have anything here i'm not going to go into this first double crochet loop we're going to go into the double crochet loop after that with a half double crochet just like that and once we have that we're going to chain one prepare for a half double crochet skip one loop half double crochet into the loop after that and then continue doing that all the way down now that we've made our way all the way up with our pattern that we were doing, now is the opportune time to just go around our entire piece that we have with a row of back loop single crochets, just to kind of differentiate this part of the dress to the rest. I just hit you guys, sorry. But once we get here, we're going to chain up one, and it's going to be really easy. We're going to insert our hook into the back loops. So really quickly, instead of going in through these two loops, we're just going to be going into the back loop, or the loops that's the loop that is furthest away from you with a single crochet and doing that we're just going to get this little tiny 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 ribbing right here and that is all we want so go ahead and do this all the way around our piece that we have we have now made our way all the way around with our row of back loop single crochets and then once we get here we are going to chain up one and cut and then now it's time to start working on the skirt portion. This is what we have so far once we have done pretty much everything. So we have our border that went all the way around, detail, this guy, you know, whatever we just made. And this next part is going to be a little bit different than how we typically do skirts, but it'll work out, I promise. So how we're gonna do this is, let's see, let's start it on this side. We're first going to take a look at that first double crochet row that we did right under the cup. So right under the cups, we did a row of single crochet and then double crochet. And then we're going to take a look at these single crochets that we just put for that single crochet back loop border that we did. And then we put two single crochets into that side double crochet. We're going to go into the loop that's right underneath those two single crochets. So here's one, two that went into the side double crochet. We're going to go into the loop that's right next to that that goes underneath towards the design that we have. We're going to insert our hook and don't hate me, this is gonna be a little funky, but from here, we're gonna start working on the bottom dress portion. So we're gonna make a really long chain that that reaches, that reaches, I cannot talk today, I'm so sorry, that reaches the length that you guys want your dress to be. But keep in mind, there will be a decent amount of shrinkage, so please take that into account definitely over crochet <laughs> definitely add extra chains because it will shrink a decent amount so i'm just gonna go ahead and start making a really long chain and then i will meet you guys back once when i have my chain length to show you guys what i have and then also the length so this is what we have so far this looks nuts but it'll all work out but I went ahead and made a chain of 25 inches. I want for my dress to be somewhat short, but I definitely over-chained, if that's a word. We're going to phrase that now. I definitely over-chained because I don't want this to be too short. That is the worst. So I did 25 inches. And then what we're going to do from here is block off that last chain that we have. We're going to chain up one. And then this is my least favorite part of the entire dress, but we're going to insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off if my hook would like to go in there with a single crochet and then we're just going to put one single crochet into every chain going back down our work and then i will show you guys what to do there because it's a little unconventional but it works we have now single crocheted all the way down our work and we're going to start working on the ribbing for the skirt portion but we're going to be going along the back and this part like i said is a little bit unconventional because we're literally just doing this guy and it's only going to be attached just by this loop for now so make the ribbing make this part of your skirt i'm sorry if this is really weird but this is just the believe it or not the easiest way that i figured how to do it but what we're going to do is chain up one flip our work and then we are going to be going into every loop here every back loop i'm sorry with a back loop slip 
stitch just like this. So we're going to insert our hook in through the back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Next loop is the back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. And then keep doing this all the way down. Once when we make it to the end, we're going to do back loop single crochets. But I'll show you guys how to do that once when we get there. We have slip stitched all the way down and now we're going to do back loop single crochets. So we're going to chain up one, flip our work, and do a back loop single crochet. So we're going to insert our hook into that back loop and single crochet. And this is going to be the pattern. So we're going to continue doing back loops for every row, but it's going to alternate between back loop slip stitches and back loop single crochets. And then just keep doing that until this panel is... <laughs> I hate explaining this, but until this panel is wide enough to cover your backside. And then we're doing it this way so that we have a solid base to work off of once when we do the front portion, because this is obviously going to be a little uneven. But yeah, I'm actually going to meet you guys back after just a few rows just to show you guys how the ribbing is looking. And then I will meet you guys back after, after that, <laughs> once we have the main portion of the back of the uh, dress skirt done. <laughs> We are just a few rows into doing our skirt portion and I just wanted to show you guys what it's looking like with the ribbing that we have. There are two sides to this. This is the outside ribbing that I'm going to be using, but if you guys prefer this more subtle ribbing, you guys can use this as well. It all depends on how you are going to connect it. But yeah, once we have this, we're just going to keep going. You're going to want to make sure that once we do have the size that we need, I'll tell you my size since I have it done. But once we do have the size that we need, it will stretch out a little bit. So don't put too many rows because then it'll be, I guess, just not as snug. And then it also needs to fit over the widest part of your hips. So it should stretch enough. If not, then go ahead and adjust from there. But I will meet you guys back once when I have my back chunk of this dress portion all finished up. This is what we got so far. And just to let you guys know, the width that I have from one end down to the next, I have nine inches, but keep in mind that this is going to stretch quite a bit. And then also the length that I have from this top end all the way down to the bottom is 21 inches. So this has shrunk down quite a bit, but this is the length that I want and need for this dress. So what we're going to do next is just attach it to the same loop on the other side. So as you guys can see, we went into where the loop is right underneath this double crochet row. So we're just going to insert it into that same loop and then we are going to slip stitch. And now that's all connected and then we can start working on the front. Now that our work is attached, now we can start working on the front portion. So what we're going to do is slip stitch into this next loop that we have and this is going towards the bottom of the front top portion that we have. And once we have that, we're going to go into the back portion that we already have, continuing on with the next row that we have. So working my way up, I had single crochets, so now we're going to do back loop slip stitches going back down. But into the first ones, since this is going to be going down at an angle, we're going to be decreasing into these first ones. So since we've already inserted a hook into this top portion, we're going to go into this back loop, yarn over, pull through. The next back loop, yarn over, pull through yarn over, pull through everything on the hook. And then once we have that, we're going to continue going down with back loop slip stitches. And then once we reach the end, we're going to chain one, come back up doing back loop single crochets, but leaving the last two loops because we are going to do a decrease and then also attach it to this end as well. We've made our way back all the way down with our back loop single crochets and we are back at our front detail and we left the last two loops like I said so we're going to do a decrease into these last two loops. So we're going to insert our hook into that next back loop, pull through into the back loop after that, pull through, pull through everything on the hook and then from there we're going to take a look at the next available loop on our front detail and then we're going to slip stitch into that guy. And then to work our way up to the next row, slip stitch into the next loop, flip our work, and then we're going to be doing back loop slip stitches, but we are going to be decreasing. So we're going to insert our hook into this first loop, pull through, next loop, pull through everything on our hook, and then 
go ahead and go in with back loop slip stitches. So we're going to keep doing our regular pattern, just making sure that we decrease once when we get to the front detail, and then we're going to slip stitch into the base and then keep doing that all the way down until we get to this middle peak that we have. And then we're going to be doing the same thing, but increasing on the side, but I'll show you guys how to do that once when we get there. So we are back and we have made our way all the way down from doing our decreases down with our back loop slip stitches and back loop single crochets. And now that we are here, what we're going to do is go back up the other side of our detail portion. But since we're going up, we're going to have to do increases going up. So the next thing we're going to do is slip stitch into that next available loop. We're going to flip our work. And then the next row that I have to do is a row of slip stitches. So what we're going to do is increase into that first loop. So we just put two back loop slip stitches into that first loop. And then from here, the rest is going to be the same. We're going to insert our hook into that next back loop, putting one slip stitch into every loop going back down our work. We're going to make our way down to the end, do back loop single crochets back up, and then I'll show you guys how to increase just one more time. So we've just made our way back up with back loop single crochets and now we have our last back loop to go into. So all we're going to do is single crochet into this last back loop. And we put two into there, that counts as our increase. We're going to slip stitch into that next available loop that we have in our base. And now this row is all attached. So all we're going to do is basically just do increases once we get to the last loop that we have right before our base. And we're going to keep going until we get to our very first row that we did for this entire dress section. So I'll meet you guys back once we get to the end. This is what we should have once we have made our way all the way across to the first row that we ever made right here. And then just as a really quick tip, if your work starts to curve up like this, just like how mine does, there's this little... Yeah, there's this little curve. That's totally fine. It'll all even out once when we connect it to this first single crochet row that we have. And we are about to do that. So what we're going to do is pull out a little bit of slack and then we're going to flip this inside out. We've now flipped this inside out and now we're going to start working on the inside seam just to get everything nice and connected. And how we're going to do this, we're actually going to be going into the outside loops. So this isn't just going to be front loop or back loop. This is actually going to be both depending on what side we're taking a look at. So in the side that's actually closest to us, we're going to be going into the front loop, which is the outside loop for this side. And then for the back panel that we're working into, we're going to be going into the back loop, which is the other outside loop. And then once we have that, we're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. We're just going to close it off with a single crochet. Let's do this a couple more times. So we're going to go into that next loop. We're going to go into this front loop, the one that's closest to us, and then we're going to take a look at the back panel. We're going to go into that back loop, and then we're going to single crochet. And then we're just going to continue doing this all the way down until we get to the bottom, and then we're going to cut and tie, and then we're going to start working on the back. Now that we're done doing our inside seam, as you guys can see, this is it right here. I flipped it inside out, and just to show you guys why we did the outside loops, this is why, because this isn't in the back, this is actually on the side, I just wanted there to be a little bit of a ribbing so that it can follow this ribbing as well. And so it's a little less noticeable once when you wear it. But now that we have that, now we're gonna start working on the back. So we're now gonna take a look at where our side detail is, and then we're gonna insert our hook into this first cup or into this first cup, into this first loop that we have that is available. And then from there, we're going to insert our hook, insert our yarn, pull through. We're going to chain up one to secure. Then we're going to flip this right side up and then into each of these side single crochets and what is this? Slip stitches that we have going across the top of the back. We're going to be going in with a row of single crochet and there's not going to be any real loops for us. So we're just going to insert our hook into whatever loop that we see fit just make sure not to put too many single crochets in one area otherwise the back will bunch up but go ahead and do this all the way around once we make it to the end with our row of single crochet we're going to slip stitch into 
we're not going into the cups but just into the next available loop that we have in our design and then from there we're going to slip stitch up the next two loops so there's one and there's two we're going to flip our work and then put one double crochet into every single crochet that we have and then slip stitch into the other side and then i'll meet you guys back once we have that done Once we double crocheted all the way over to the other side, we're going to count up two loops, one, two, slip stitch into that second loop, and then we're going to chain up one and cut. We just finished up doing our row of double crochet, and now we're going to start working on the side cup detail and also the back panel to where we can start putting in our corset back tie as well. So really quickly, before we get started, we're going to want to figure out where the middle is in between the two cups before we get started. So I went ahead and counted everything out and then I found out where my middle part was and then we're going to come back to this in a little bit. But for now, we are going to take a look at our cup. As you guys can see, I already have one of them done. So I'm just going to go to my next cup and then I'm going to insert my hook into the base and the base is where we just did our double crochets right here. And I'm going to insert my hook into that first available loop. I'm going to grab my yarn, insert that onto my hook, pull through. And then I'm going to go into this first single crochet that I have into the side of my cup right here with a single crochet. And then once we have that, we're going to single crochet all the way down until we get to this corner that we have where we did our increase into the cup. So go ahead and put one single crochet into every loop until we get there. Once we get to the corner loop, we're going to do a little bit of detail so that it matches our little middle detail that we have. So from here, we're going to chain out one, prepare for double crochet, and we're going to count out three. One, two, three, insert your hook into that third, and we're going to put two double crochet into that third loop that we just counted out. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to chain out one, prepare for a double crochet, count out one, two, three, insert your hook into that third with two double crochet. And then we're going to keep doing this all the way down, but don't do anything into the last two loops because we're going to need to decrease because we don't want this peak to get any higher. Now I just have one more set of two double crochet to do, so we're going to chain out one, prepare for a double crochet, count out one, two, three, insert your hook into that last one, and then into that last loop that we have, yarn over, pull through, this is a decrease, yarn over, pull through three, pull through two, and then that is our decrease. Then once we have that, we're going to chain out three. That counts as a double crochet. We're going to flip our work, and then we're going to be going into every loop that we have with just one double crochet. So keep doing this all the way down until we get to that corner peak again. So right where we start doing our single crochet, and then we're going to start doing single crochets again once when we get to this point. And to work our way up to the next row, we're going to chain up three, flip our work, and then we're going to be going in with a row of double crochet, but into this first loop, we're going to be doing a decrease. So we're going to prepare for a double crochet, insert our hook into that first loop, pull through, into that next loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, pull through two. And then from here, we're going to be putting one double crochet into every loop that we have, going all the way down until we meet our set of single crochets that we did right here, and then we're going to be doing single crochets into there. But I'll meet you guys back once we get there, just so I can show you guys. Now that we have double crocheted all the way down into this first single crochet loop that we have, we're going to go in with single crochet, and then once we get to the base, which is this guy right here, we are going to slip stitch into the base and then work our way up to the next row. And then once we've made our way all the way down, we're going to take a look at the next available single crochet loop that we have, and then we're going to slip stitch so we can connect this row that we just did. And then in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch up the next single crochet loop, flip our work, and then we're going to repeat the first two rows that we just did. So we're going to single crochet all the way until we get to this point. Now we know where our single crochet rows end, so we can just stop right there. And then we're going to continue doing our set of two double crochet, skip three loops, chain one, two double crochet into that third. And then we're going to make our way down, make sure we decrease at the end, and then we're going to chain up three, decrease at the other end so that we can work our way up to the next row, and then double crochet all the way down. And you guys are going to do this until this entire cup is even. And then I'll meet you guys back once we have all that done. 
Now that everything is nice and even on this side of the cup, now we're just going to go in with one row of double crochet going all the way down. So what we're going to do from here is chain up three, that counts as a double crochet. We're still going to be decreasing into this first loop, so prepare for a double crochet. Insert, pull through, into the next loop, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, pull through two. And we're just going to be going in with one double crochet into every loop, going all the way down, and then we're going to connect into the base with a slip stitch, but I'll show you guys how to do that once we get there. Now that we've double crocheted all the way down, what we're going to do from here is connect to the base. So we're going to count out one, two loops, insert your hook into that second loop with a slip stitch. And once we get here, we're going to chain up one just to secure that in. But now we're going to start doing our single crochets just so that we can start working on our back loops. And once we get here, we're actually going to go straight into doing a row of single crochets all the way down until we get to our stitch marker. And as you guys can see, I didn't go into my middle stitch marker because that's going to be where our loops come into play. So I'm just going to go straight into this first double crochet loop going across the back with a row of single crochet. And then I'm going to stop one loop right before my stitch marker. And then from there, we're going to do a decrease in the next row, but I'll show you guys how to do that once we get there. Now that we single crocheted all the way down, we're going to do our next row, which is going to be a decrease, like I said. So all we're going to do is chain up one, flip our work, and then into this first loop, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, into the second, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and then that is how we decrease. And from here, we're going to go in with one single crochet into every loop until we get to the side of the cup and then we're going to connect it into that base. I'll show you how to do that once we get there. Into the side of the cup, we are going to insert our hook into the first available loop with a slip stitch and then working our way up to the next loop, slip stitch, flip our work, and then we're going to go in putting one single crochet into every loop and then for this portion for me, I'm just going to keep going all the way up until I don't have any more loops to go to into the side of the cup and I'm going to be decreasing into every other third row. Yours may be different depending on the height of your cup and how many loops you have on the side, but I figured that every other third row works for me, so hopefully that works for you too, but I will meet you guys back once we have all of that done. This is what our work should be looking like so far. As you guys can see, this is our cup. This is our side detail to try and make it even. And this is what we should have once when we're trying to make the V. And then once you guys have one side, go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. And I already have both of mine done, so I'm going to show you guys just the really easy thing that we're going to do just to make some loops so that we can go in with our corset back tie. So all we're going to do is first chain up one. And then if you guys didn't end on this side, if you guys ended over here, just Go ahead and cut and tie and then rejoin your yarn down here but we're just going to go in with a row of single crochet first once we make it to the end we're going to slip stitch it into the base and then we're going to cut and tie and then we're going to go in with our loops now that we've single crocheted all the way down we're going to insert our hook into this top corner insert our yarn onto our hook we're going to pull this through and we're going to start off by doing a chain up of three two, three, the first two count as a half double crochet. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet. Skip one loop, go into the second loop with a half double crochet. Let's do this one more time. Chain one, prepare for a half double crochet. Skip one, go into the loop after that with a half double crochet. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down. We have just made our little row of net going all the way down. And then we are pretty much at the bottom. We just have one loop left. So what we're going to do from here is chain one. We're going to prepare for a double crochet and then that one loop that we stopped at right before we started doing our V's, we're going to do a double crochet into that loop. Chain one and then prepare for another half double crochet and then insert your hook into the same loop into this back V that we have our the last half double crochet. So we're going to go into this loop right here with a half double crochet. And then we're just going to chain one, half double crochet all the way up. Once you get to the end, cut and tie. Once when we have done our net all the way through, the next thing that we have to do is just make a chain that can weave in and out of all of these nets. And I just made a regular chain of 60 inches. 
And then the last thing that we have to do is just make a strap that goes into the top corner of our cups. And we're just going to insert our hook into the top corner loop that we have and then just make a chain that's long enough to wrap around your neck. And mine is a chain of 18 inches. And then once when you're done with that, the last thing that we have to do is just weave in all of our ends. We have woven in our ends. We've done a little happy dance and this is our finished dress. I know this dress was a long time coming, but we wanted to make sure it was perfect for you guys. This dress is amazing for any occasion. It is sexy, it is sleek, and it is 100% handmade by you. And if you guys love being a creator as much as I do, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. It is right beneath the video. It lets YouTube and I know you're enjoying the videos, and, and it goes a really long way with helping the channel grow and gain some traction. But if you guys didn't like it, give this video a thumbs down, but be sure to leave me a comment letting me know why you didn't like it, or if you have any questions, requests, or just want to see what's up, I'll get to you guys real quick. And if you guys love this, go ahead and support and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, it's right beneath the video. But the support doesn't stop there, go ahead and leave a comment and share with all of your friends because every bit helps. And if you are already subscribed, huge thanks to you guys for getting us here so far. We appreciate every single one of you. Links to the yarn and the hooks will be in the description. If you guys buy something using those links, that also goes towards helping out the channel. And lastly, loves, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest links are down there as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see y'all in the next one.